Well, with all the spring fun to look forward to, it's important to stay healthy and ready to go. Dr. Valerie Weber from the Boonshoff School of Medicine at Wright State University shares an essential vitamin to keep part of your daily routine. Getting enough vitamin D is key for your health. We're excited to be speaking with Dr. Weber. Dr. Weber, how are you? I'm great. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. So let's just break it down. Let's start basic. What is vitamin D? Well, vitamins are substances that your body needs. It has to get from your diet in order to help all of your cells in your body to work. And vitamin D is one of them. There are 13 vitamins and vitamin D is super important because it controls uh, the amount of calcium in your body and many of your cells, including your muscles and of course your bones, uh, calcium is vital, vital for the health of them. And where do you get vitamin D? Well, vitamin D is one of those interesting vitamins because it's a little unique in that humans can make it in your skin. So if you get enough sunshine, um, at least 30 minutes twice a week, you can store up enough vitamin D. There's a chemical reaction in your skin. I know it sounds kind of strange. So if you enjoy the nice weather over last weekend and we're outside, your body was building up vitamin D. Unfortunately, we live in Ohio, and so that's not always possible. And scientists think that in order to get enough vitamin D, you have to live like either um, drawing a line from South Carolina over to Southern California. If you live below that, you probably get enough. If you live above that, you need to worry about your vitamin D. But what are some symptoms that people can look out for if they are vitamin D deficient? Well, that's the thing about it. So if, you, if you're vitamin D deficient, you might not know. And um, if you're not getting enough from sunlight or your diet, um, and, and pretty much most of us, like 40% of people probably of Ohioans, sort of, at, you know, at the end of this season, we're going into spring, at least 40% of us are vitamin D deficient. We don't know it. We don't have symptoms. If it gets enough over many years, you can have a disease called osteomalacia, which is thinning of your bones, and you might have sort of diffuse, diffuse bony pain. Some people think also if your vitamin D levels are low, it can mess with your immune system and you might be catching more colds than normal, although that's a little bit controversial. And some people think it can cause muscle weakness as well. So the most dangerous part is really not being aware that you are vitamin D deficient. Right. So something very much to consider if you do live in Ohio, which we all do, something right. very important to consider. And now you're talking about a little bit about your immune system. Now here's my question. Can vitamin D help protect you from COVID-19? There's been some studies now looking at that. They even uh, there was a study where they treated patients in ICUs with um, vitamin D that really had no effect. So the answer is we don't know yet. There's some ongoing studies. Um, it can't hurt. And what I recommend to everybody, certainly if you're concerned about your vitamin D level, it's a simple blood test that your doctor can check. Um, otherwise, just take a regular multivitamin every day that's got vitamin D in it. It, it can't hurt. I'm not going to tell you it's going to prevent severe COVID. We don't have that data, but it's certainly very good for your body to make sure that you're not vitamin D deficient. There you go. So bottom line, take those vitamins. Dr. Weber, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great day.